Hey everybody, welcome to the Wicked Lancer channel, or welcome back. Airsoft is a big hobby of mine. I don't play so much anymore, but I do love to collect replica weapons. Maybe you've seen my other video about my Mark 12 Mod 1 weapon system uh, based on the rifle that was used in the movie Lone Survivor. So today I'm going to show you some gear that I put together, also influenced by the movie and that time period. So if you're looking to put a kit together when you're playing Airsoft uh, to emulate the gear that they wore in the movie, this is for you. So this is a replica of the Rhodesian Recon Vest or RRV Vest uh, that was worn in the movie Lone Survivor by Mark Wahlberg. Uh, if you're looking to buy the actual gear, it was made by Eagle Industries. And it's kind of hard to find. Actually, there's a lot on eBay, but it's expensive. Um, the vest alone without the pouches, you're looking at 100 bucks plus. And the actual color of the RRV vest or the Eagle Industry vest was MJK khaki. So MJK khaki or, or khaki is hard to find uh, in tactical gear nowadays. A lot of it is coyote brown. Um, this RRV is made by Condor. Condor is readily available along with an assortment of pouches. The base vest without pouches will run you about $30 to $35. The Condor vest came in coyote brown. The Eagle Industries vest of the period was MJ khaki. MJ stands for Matt Johnson. He worked for Eagle Industries. I don't own any actual MJ khaki gear, but it is my understanding that it is darker than tan, but lighter than coyote brown. This one's made by Condor, and so what I did was I actually dusted it with a khaki spray paint to give it the lighter look. Uh, then on top of that, I went in and I took some darker brown and kind of dusted it here and there in some spots. So starting on this side, we have our general purpose pouch or possibly a med, med pouch. Uh, this one's made by Condor. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good and really replicated the one that they used in the movie. This one does have some molly on the side. I'm not sure if the one in the movie did. And then you have four magazine pouches. It's actually three pouches and then one additional one. Each one holds two magazines each, and the magazine retention flap is actually tucked in the back of the magazines. So you can pull it out, you can put the flap over it if you want to. Alright, so this is the radio pouch right here. Obviously it's from much larger uh, military radios. I believe it was the uh, PRC-148 that they used in the movie with a much longer uh, whip antenna that went all the way up here and popped out the top. Uh, I picked this up, I believe it's from China, on eBay for about seven bucks, eight bucks, something like that. The fragmentation pouches that are on the far side here, stacked one on top of the other. Uh, I believe these are made by Condor. You can also pick them up pretty cheap. Made by Eagle, but they're the more current coyote color. So one pouch that was kind of hard to find was the horizontal general purpose pouch that they would actually hang from the bottom row of Molly. Now, this was kind of hard to find. It's hard to find it without Molly on the front, like made by Condor or some other ones, but this one I found uh, online at Midway USA, and it's a general purpose pouch. It came in Coyote Brown, or Coyote, and I hung it on the last rung of the Molly, and then I also added some uh, dummy cords to it so it uh, wouldn't fall off the straps popped off. Now, the RRV vest will actually hold uh, an armor plate, but it's only on the front because the RRV does not have a back to it. This is where it gets a little tricky. This is the admin pouch. Uh, looking back at actual photos of operators, this is how the admin pouch pocket looked. It went straight across here, but in the movie, the pocket actually had an angled flap on either side here. So this particular admin pouch I had found on eBay. Someone was selling them in different used conditions. Uh, they did come in coyote brown and were listed as USGI issue. And I picked this one up in this condition for about 20 bucks. And up here on the shoulder, we have your tourniquet. That's what this is, if you're ever wondering when you're watching the movie. So on the other shoulder strap here, we have the replica SOG seal pup knife. Uh, I got this uh, in a deal on eBay, but uh, you can get them at your airsoft stores as well. So anyway, I hope you guys found that helpful or useful if that's the look you're going for. I would say I put this vest together for about, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, but I like it. It's very modular if that's what you want to go for. 
doesn't have a back on it, but uh, you can still carry a whole lot of stuff. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.